Bobby Wilson here. Love to you there. Life eternal. Life comes from God. Without God, our spirits die. That's why Jesus died for our sins so we can be alive in our spirits again and live with him in heaven forever. And life in heaven is really going to be living. The body you have here on earth is an imperfect short-term body that your soul lives in. It's not made to last, but God is going to change our physical bodies and make them powerful and awesome. God will reward each of us for the good we've done and we'll have spiritual bodies that will live forever. Here is God's witness. He has given us eternal life. That life is found in his son. Those who belong to his son have life. 1 John 5, 11, 12. Did you know? Does eternal life only start when you get to heaven? No. Once Jesus has given you life, you have it already right now. Anyone who believes in the Son has eternal life. John said, I'm writing these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so you will know that you have eternal life. 1 John 5 and 13. Kingdom of God. A kingdom is a region, city, or nation ruled by a king. Jesus often preached about the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven, but it was a very different kingdom from the one people expected. His kingdom was not of this world at all. It was a spiritual kingdom. It was about loving and caring for others and obeying God. God's kingdom has nothing to do with get eating or drinking. It is a matter of being right with God. It brings the peace and joy the Holy Spirit gives. Romans 4 and 17. Knowledge. Say knowledge. Knowledge is the awareness and understanding of people, places, things and ideas. Knowledge is not very useful by itself. We need wisdom to teach us how to use it. Respect for God is the beginning of all knowledge and wisdom. Therefore, if we want knowledge, we should ask God for it and the wisdom we know how to use it. If you really want to gain knowledge, you must begin by having respect for the Lord. But foolish people hate wisdom and training. That's found in Proverbs 1 and verse 7. Proverbs 23 says, Apply your heart. Listen carefully to knowledge. How very rich are God's wisdom and knowledge You'll find that in Romans 11, verse 33 through 36. Knowledge makes people proud. You'll find that in 1 Corinthians 8 and 1. This is the day that the Lord hath made. I know you know it. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, what a fellowship. Oh, what a joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arms of our eternal life. John 3.16, you know it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Bobby Wilson here, love to you there. Shalom.